Okay, I just looked out the window. I was eating lunch, and Charlie's out here ringing a chime, which means we have a swarm of bees. Okay, Charlie. I'll chime if you want to go. Get some shoes and a coat on. <laughs> yeah, well, hurry. Yeah, well, I'm out here doing this. All right. Y'all see the bees? I'll give you an update in a little bit. Um, using the electric saw? Yeah. Okay, where do you want me to saw it? Right there. All right. Think you got her? Or are they going back up and bawling? I say you got her in your hand. Yeah. Please, please God allow him to catch his eye. He's on the So now what? Scoop them off with your hands? Scoop them down? Get, go get the clippers so I can cut off the pieces that I don't need. Hand clippers? Yeah. Do you need chiming? What? Do you need chiming? Chiming? Chiming! No. They're all should be coming right here. You don't think she's there, do you? That's where they're all going. Boy, she's naughty. What? This is a new queen, baby. Probably left over from the last one. 
she may have created a queen cup and then after a week created another queen cup. Still need the other nippers? Uh, I don't think so. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the uh, bigger nippers for him. Well, I can smell the the bees. Bees have a very unique smell. Is it me, or are they marching down in there now? I don't know. They may be. You all have no idea what progress this is for yours truly, who used to scream like a little girl whenever a bee was near her. You know, I'm standing <coughs> about five feet from this hive, no protective gear on. I did put on a hat. I'm looking at this side of that stick and it looks like they're going down in it. <coughs> or am I imagining it? That's not a good spot. Hmm? Telling Lulu that's not a good spot. She doesn't seem to mind. She's got all that fur. You got them balling uh, between the hive and this post here. Do you think this lemongrass over here will would have uh, scent on it still? No. What are the chances if the queen's in that ball, would she crawl up and go into the hive? Yeah.
think I see her. Where? Right on this side, right see? Here? Yeah. Was that her? Did she leave? Did she just leave? I don't know, babe. I lost track of her. She flew up. Fewer flying around up top. Can you see the fanning? Like here, this one's got its wings just going. That one's just got its, her wings going, and she's saying this is where the queen is, and the one behind your glove. Right here. Look at them fan. So she must be in the box. They seem to be crawling in. So. They seem to be crawling in, and that's two swarms you've caught in in this just this month. Yeah, I've been feeding heavy. Oh, good. Feed some more, and we'll do another one. Yeah, you see, everyone see those, the fanning of the wings, and that is telling everyone that the queen is there. They're spreading her pheromones. So, you know, all the rest of you guys, come on up. Look. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Beekeeper Charlie. Yeah, alhamdulillah, right? Yeah. Pollen patties in early spring if you want to, to uh, expand your hives, feed pollen patties in the early spring. <laughs> pollen patties, and you you did a lot of sugar water too. Yeah, you're, I'll have to feed this one a pollen patty and sugar water, you know, to help them get started. But the, the hive that came through the winter, I only had one hive came through, come through the winter after the drought last year. And uh, this is its second swarming. Um, so now you've got three. Yep. And we're picking two uh, new so up. I'm going to have five. Well, if you want more than that, uh, uh, keep feeding. <laughs> yeah. I have to come up with boxes but since this is really just the beginning of the uh, nectar flow yeah, you should I you'll get a little maybe you know, I don't like harvesting until I'm sure they have enough to make it through the uh, winter and I didn't quite get it right last year of course we had drought starting in <laughs> April that lasted through uh, November yeah, so that was uncontrollable. We had two hives abscond. Well, you've now replaced the two hives that absconded. Yeah, and they did it late in the year. I mean, they did it in September. No, it was November. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's no way they survived the winter. Unless they found some place that was actually getting water rain. Because we were in kind of a, a rain shadow or something. You know four or five miles away from from us it would actually rain but it, we went through April through November getting a total of less than a half inch of rain mm. so they look a lot calmer now yeah and there's there's only a few flying through the air now So as far as she's concerned, this queen's concerned, she swarmed and she's home. Yep. And you carry this back tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. When after the sun sets? Yeah. Don't you carry him through my house? I won't. <laughs> All righty. You want to sign off? Okay, folks, welcome to our Georgia Suburban Homestead, where we just caught another swarm. If uh, you like what we make out of this one, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and see some other bee videos. And uh, what's that? Ring the bell. 
Ring a bell. Ring the bell. Ringing the bell kept them here. Well, that's true. <laughs> you gonna give the wife some credit? Oh yeah. The wife was out here ringing the bell to, to get them to all land and uh, they landed in the tree right above us, which now has a big hole in it. <laughs> me. You know, you know what occurs to me? What? We're cutting all the low-lying branches off. I know the. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see y'all later. Yep, I gotta figure out how to get them to finish going in the hive. Yeah, let's just be patient. All right, it's after dark as you can see, and Charlie's uh, about to move the beehive. He's got a. a what do you call it, Charlie? A secure. Yeah. It's got it wrapped on top and locked down, and a one of my good dish towels stopping the bees up. And he took me away from winding down Wednesday with hands in the dirt, an anniversary party to do this. Okay, Charlie. Uh, want me to walk out to the side here? Yeah. And he's walking faster than I am. Yeah. <laughs> How much does it weigh, do you think? About a hundred pounds? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead of you here up the pathway between the house and the garden gate here. You turn around, you're coming. Stop here on one of our garden benches. That heavy, huh? Panting. I think I'm still getting over the flu. Yeah, you probably are. I'm still getting over the flu, and it's. I was sick like what five, six days longer than you were. This is a really bad flu, <coughs> y'all. As y'all can see, we've got the bees up against the house. That's our bathroom window. We can get up and do our business in the morning and watch the bees. And the bees will tell us whether we need a jacket or not when we walk out the door, don't they, babe? Yeah. Because they're not active if it's below 50. So. Last year, though, they lied. Okay. We'll go around and see. Show you what he's doing. Is that better? Strap off. Our light on the chimney not working? No, it burned out finally. Eight years or so. Finally burned out. You got a ladder tall enough to get up there and change it out? Not really. <laughs> it's way up there. How, how did he get it up there in the begin with? Maybe with one of those stick things. Huh. Have to buy you another tool, huh? See the light for a minute. Oh, you putting down an excluder? Whatever. Reducer. Reducer, is that what you call it? Mm 
Here. Sign off again. Look at me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Am I blinding you? Yes, kind of. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye. This has been our Georgia Suburban Homestead moving our latest captured set of bees. Yay. Our greenhouse is growing like an alien. Oh, Brucey the garden cat, what are you doing out here? Bye, y'all. <laughs>